The week began with work to build an access ramp on the front wall. This is in preparation for a time when the walls are complete, but access to the interior will be required. Work progressed quickly. Beyond the front wall, at the corner where Bath Road and Sir John A. Macdonald Boulevard meet, it was a busy scene. Form building in preparation for concrete was in full swing. This is a discipline in which the carpenters really excel. Amidst all the activity, GFL arrived once again to remove the groundwater collected on site. We'll close Monday with a look at the west wall foundations and the new wall forms going into place. There may be a certain amount of pleasure in breaking up old drain pipes. The practical reason for doing so is to make them easier to transport from site. In the hands of a skilled operator, an excavator makes short work of that. Back on the west wall, work to complete the forms is well in hand. With drain pipes and other scrap concrete gone from site, the excavators can work on moving spoil to allow more working room. As the day progressed, more and more work was completed on the west wall. On the other side of the site, the assembly of wall forms and the reinforcing rod baskets was also underway. A dusting of overnight snow greeted GFL at the North Foundations on Wednesday morning, but found much of the west wall in good shape and ready to receive concrete. Nearby, strong work by the excavators had cleared a significant amount of ground. That allowed rolling and compacting to occur for much of the day. But an extensive concrete pour was undoubtedly the day's highlight. It always bears repeating that the secret to success here is strong teamwork. The involvement of a skilled and experienced concrete crew is a critical component too. It guarantees a smooth and reliable flow of concrete. Wednesday's pour was incident free, right up to the time the last truck departed. Thursday's focus was on building the remaining wall forms on the west wall. The versatile and capable telehandler plays a large part in this work. It certainly makes the movement and placement of large and heavy forms much easier but the final judgment and the fit are dependent on the skill and experience of the craftsmen receiving them. 
I expect that everyone appreciates now that when the team is not building wall forms to receive concrete, they're tearing them down after it sets. Or patching and sealing points where they were attached. And that takes us up to Friday. Friday morning saw snow on the ground for the second time this week. An excavator was working on what will become the front wall of the service garage of the new Canadian Tire store. Just yards away, work on the west wall at the north end was taking place to complete the wall form build. At the other end of that wall, work continued to remove the forms that had shaped and protected the concrete during Wednesday's pour. Overall, as we moved into the family day long weekend, things were in pretty good shape. I think we can expect a shorter, but no less intense week of work ahead when everybody returns. And I wish everyone all the very best for the long weekend. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want to be sure of keeping up to date, please consider subscribing.